What's up, everyone? And welcome down to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. And we have been invaded by Charger. Yes, my guests today are the amazing East Bay Tree Power Metal. I wouldn't say metal. I'd say more. I've been coining the phrase nasty rock and roll. <laughs> I, I like that because that's what I, well, I kind of get this look on my face when I, you know, like if, if music gives you that yeah, kind of look, I call that nasty. And uh, I am here with the whole band today. I'm here with Jason, Drew, and Matt. How are you guys? Good to have you Good. in. Good, I've Thank had you. both of you in before. Drew, this yeah. is the first time Thank you for, for having you involved. No, it's great to have you. Um, um, we're going to talk about the history of your band. Let's touch on the record just really quick. A right. uh, new album, War Horse, came out. Oh, man, uh, it's been my favorite over the last, like I told you, the last few days, I probably listened to it about six times, and not because you're going to be on my show Truly, because it's it's really nasty. One of those give me that face looked records, and so um, very awesome. Um, Thanks, man. And and, and, and I, I just think it's it's what I'm listening to, what I want to listen to, uh, coming from you know a, a heavy point, and not just always thrash metal all the time, or not just you know you know a new wave of British heavy metal type metal. Because I do listen to a lot of deal. I listen to a lot of Iron Maiden. I listen to a lot of Judas Priest. Rainbow, right? I listen to a lot of that. I listen to a lot of Motorhead, which I do here in in, in Charger. So um, uh, this record's great. But um, let's go to the beginning. I've had Jason on the show before, but let's talk about how Charger got together and, and what you what you were doing before you guys kind of put put this in. And any one of you can take the mic on this. Um, it's sort of simple. I I guess it's in late 2017, and Jason was actually giving my younger son. Uh, drum lessons and uh, we've known each other I've known him forever since you first came out from where you know in the scene or whatever like we we were always friends we all you know saw each other you know in between tours or whatever we were all real busy but Ranson had just come off a really big year and we had a break lining up and I would take my son to the lessons and Jason would be like we should do something together and I'd be like yeah no thank you and uh he asked me finally, and finally, I don't know, I was probably just in a bad mood. I was just like, fine, what do you want to do? You know, what do you want to do? What do you want to play? Because I don't really want to play street punk or ska. I already do that. You know, I don't need to do that. And he's like, well, what do you like? And I'm like, well, I like fucking Motorhead and Black Sabbath. If you want to play something like that, we can do it. You know, thinking, I don't know what he's going to think. He's like, yeah, that sounds great. And I'm like, all right. So we started jamming around, and he's a really good drummer. And you know, we really want to. Yes, I'm really into rhythm is. section <laughs> stuff. I mean, I've been really blessed to play with really good drummers in my career. And uh, so we started messing around, and you know, started writing some songs. And then we, after a few months, we uh, got Drew uh, to come in and play guitar. And then it just, that was it. And where did you come from, Drew? Have you done anything notably we might have heard or something <clears throat> people can go on YouTube and look at? Because that's the big thing on with this you know program, this show. You got YouTubers out there, fine. If you've done something, <laughs> these guys will find it. Well, I, you know, I haven't done anything that anybody would find on YouTube in probably uh -huh. over 20 years. You but know if I mean? it, they're still there. But I see shit from the 80s in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I mean, I, 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 um, I, you know, I knew Matt from, I worked at a bar in Berkeley called the Albatross Pub. Uh -huh. And Matt would come in and, um, and just hang out, you know what I mean? And, and we would just talk about fucking baseball. Yeah. <clears throat> Not to touch on sensitive topics. We've had but that conversation <laughs> this morning. We won't bring it here right now. But, but um, yeah, and I mean, I've been playing in bands, you know, I'm 53, I've been playing in bands forever, and some bands, you know, might be on YouTube and maybe not, but, you know, I've been playing around, but, and Matt was telling me um, about he was doing this project, and he was looking for a guitar player, you know, I'm, he was saying he was doing these demos of these songs, he was working with a drummer, he wanted to do some demos, he was putting guitar on it, but it wasn't quite coming out exactly how we wanted. And I said, um, he said, it's, you know, sort of a motorhead thing, and I said, oh, well, next time I'm up at the house, I mean, I've been friends for years at yeah. this point, maybe 10 years, and I would go up and hang out. I said, next time I'm at the house, you know, I can put that stuff on your demo for you. I can, I can play it, no problem. So he could make a demo and get, you know, a guitar player of note, you know. So I kind of kept bringing it up, and I think that's sort of me saying I would put it on the demo somehow got changed into, I don't know what happened. Matt just came in one day and said, you, you want to do that guitar thing? I said, yeah. He said, all right, we'll learn these songs and show up here. And I was like... <laughs> Fuck, 
Fuck, all right. Damn pro musician. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Can you play the part? Yeah. Learn the song. Show oh, up. You fucking big mouth. Exactly. See we'll see what you're worth. So, <laughs> so, sorry. I, I'm not really. I'm actually a very nice person. I he just, is really. I, he just, really I, is. I don't have time for shit. Yeah, I, I love just, God. Like, I love uh, that. Just yeah. do it, man. Like, yeah. yeah. So he's know. like fucking. He gave it to me. He's like Monday, 10 o'clock or well, 12 o'clock. And so I showed up and. Deadlines. You know, it was like three. Yeah, we, he gave me three songs. And That's good. We played the three songs, and honestly, from those, just from those three songs, there seemed to kind of be a connection right away. And they're no, like, we knew right away. Like you went to the, to go use the bathroom, and we we're like, like looking at each other. Yeah, that, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. It was like they, right and there. they were like, you want to learn a couple of other songs? And we just, they just showed me songs right there, and instantly, there was just a connection right away. And that, that was it. Now, listening to, uh, to, to, well, the second record as well, but the first Charger record, and because obviously that's the, the first stuff you've written together. Yeah. Um, it, all of your, your guitar tone, your bass tone, and your drum playing and tone all really mesh together, like, right off the bat. So, it, like, it's hard for bands to create their own sound or especially on the first record, they're kind of trying to find their way around. Go listen to Hell Awaits. Or, or right. it, it sounds nothing like Show No Mercy. Right. You know what I mean? Nothing like it. You know what I mean? You find your, and then you go into like, like Rain, and, Rain and Blood and it's something completely different. I've listened to, you know, obviously the first two records and man, you guys have your sound. I mean, you listen to the record and all of that's Charger. And there's no better compliment in the world to me musically than this, to, li to listen to a record and listen to a band and go, Oh wow, that's that band. Can you could tell? Yeah, it's really, really cool that you say that because that is something we actually worked on straight away. That is one of the things we worked on straight away is doing that, having that glue, as almost like it's one thing. It's it wasn't like it took you guys some time. It seemed to become this. Uh, when I heard Charger, I know Charger. You know what I mean. And then when I heard Warhorse, I'm like. That's fucking charge, and so you know you're establishing. You, this is you know this is Exodus. When you hear Exodus, you know Exodus. When you hear you know whoever you you know you know them. You know Rainbow. You know it's fucking Rainbow. You know it's Blackmore. The minute you you hit it, yeah. I think the best compliment that anyone can say is when I hear you, I know it's you, and that's that. That's what I hear with you guys, and right out of the gate, that's why I feel that such big things are coming for these guys because man, it's really original. Although it has every single element from GBH to, you know, to Rainbow, you know, and Dio, I hear Iron Maiden in there a little bit, I think, you know, and Motorhead, obviously, but there's just so much good stuff going on, which if you're listening to the first two records going, wow. What are they going to do next? Wow, well, because it makes it, you know, makes it, you know, you're in, you, you, once you get into a band, you're like, well, no, you're not going away now. You need to put out more records. Yeah. Fuck you, man. You don't get to back, go back to Rancid now. <laughs> Write another Charger record, you know? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. No, I love Rancid. I love Lars and you keep it. Keep doing it all. Right? Yeah, well, I got to eat, man. Right, but I understand that. <laughs> I understand that. Your know, answer's going nowhere. That's right. Exactly. Gentlemen. Exactly. Um, yeah, there is Exodus. So. Yeah, I mean, we. I honestly think that, yeah, thank you for all that. Yeah, I honestly think the sound, I don't think it can manufacture that. I don't I mean, either. I've been doing this long enough, so if you, we all have it. It either sort of clicks or it doesn't. Like, for whatever reason, Drew came in and it, and it clicked. Because I play with other, other musicians, you know, sometimes it clicks and sometimes it doesn't. Sure. You know what I mean? It just, sure. no matter how good you are, you know, or good they are, you know, it just, I, I, I don't think it's something you can really, like I said, I don't think you can manufacture. I think you're just blessed to have it. You now, know? listening to the guitar work, Drew, um, did you come in with that tone in mind or is that your tone uh, normally? No, I, I Or did you apply, like, you know, go listen to what Matt and, and Jason were doing, go, you know, this is going to take a little bit of this and this. And I guess the same thing would be said for you, Matt. I don't hear, I, 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 th to me, your bass tone is different with Charger than Rancid. What are you doing different? You know what I mean? I, I, you want to go first? I definitely had an idea of what I wanted to do when I heard the songs. I knew, I knew the sound that I was going for. I knew the mix that I was going for. And it has shifted a little bit here and there, but the basic idea is the same. And when I, and, and as I was saying earlier, that was something that we consciously worked on in the rehearsal, like getting the tones together with Jason's drums so that it sounded like, like a fucking fist just it, coming It does, together, and you know? it comes across that way. And I'm glad that you guys did that because I mean, I, again, so many great talented bands come off and they're and you're, they're still looking for their 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 identity i guess and you really a lot I mean, of people have their identity in this whatever sound they have this is my sound you know you got to you have to think about what is it you're trying to say with the band and have that be the sound is the whole band not sure. you as an individual i agree you're melding into one powerful unit and you have to we think you have to i agree do that. i agree yeah and what do you, what you what, what I listen to you on this? I've listened to the rancid. It feels a little bit more dirty. Are you using a pedal? Or are you, what are you uh, yeah, doing there? Yeah, I mean, it's actually not that much different. It isn't? Yeah, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm using, um, I'm using a little bit. Bass is, bass is strange. Uh, you can't use too much distortion or it, it gets lost in the guitar frequencies. And I just tried to meld with Jason's drums and his guitar and. Uh, put it in there. I mean, Rancid, I mean, I don't know, it's fucking science. I don't really understand it. Rancid, I'm definitely a little more brighter uh -huh. and a little more, uh, I don't know, how do you say it? It's not as, I, in, in Charger, compressed. I got Compressed, it's a little in, bit more in, compressed. In Charger, I got to like, I got to fill a lot of room. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I've got, I read this whole article about John at Whistles Rig once and he, Townsend said, you know, he had this huge wall of amps and he just had to fill there's a huge like sonic frequency like he filled with the Who while Townsend, you know, and Moon or whatever. And with Drancid, I don't really need to do that because you got Tim playing guitar, you got sure. Lars playing right. guitar, and so I'm trying to get in there. It, it's not that much different, but it's, uh -huh. but it, I'm also playing a little differently, whereas Rancid, I'm more like, uh, how do you say it? Uh, my, I'm really concise with Rancid. Uh -huh. With Charger, I'm trying to sort of fill up. I'm using a lot more open strings, uh -huh. like ringing and stuff like that. It's like a trick I learned from listening to Lemmy. So you're to trying like to Lemmy. sustain more to make it larger? Yeah, Lemmy, I sort of studied what Lemmy was doing, and he he's playing that thing almost oh, like God, guitar, beat, and it's just... the shit out of it. He beat when the I've shit seen them, it. it's just like, yeah. you know, it's all omnipresent. So we were very... Not to say I'm Lemmy, but I'm trying. Pretty fucking close. Pretty good. I mean, I would have to say you have some... Lemmy-esque stuff in there. I mean, Lemmy's definitely part of your DNA, Matt. Oh, you can hear it, you yeah, know? He, I don't think he got enough credit for being the amazing oh bass player that he still is. Isn't, still isn't getting the credit. Are you kidding me? Yeah. When they put the guy in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, finally he'll get his credit, you know what I mean? I'm uh, To me, finally, he deserves it, and he deserves it. So anyway, we will be back. We're going to do um, uh, some of my commercials, and we're going to come back, and we are going to talk to Charger about the new record, War Horse here on Zetro's Toxic Fault. What's up, everyone? What's up, Walt? Hey. What do you drink when you get up in the morning? Oh, I gotta have it. Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee, everybody. I'm telling you, the people over at Death Wish Coffee, Jeff Ayers and everybody, has been really good to the show. We like to give you guys all the free giveaways that on the funny questions that we do come up with. The strongest coffee it's, in the it world. Is, it's metal coffee. If you right guys want to get up in the morning and kick your ass, Get I some, have to wake up 
We look death forward to waking yeah. up when you have Death Wish. So go get some. They're in your grocery stores everywhere, wherever you are in the United States. If not, go to deathwishcoffee.com and order some. You will definitely be pleased. If you're a coffee drinker, and I know the world has turned into it, you will love Death Wish Coffee. Go get some today. We want to thank Kyle and all the guys at Hella Hot Hot Sauce for always giving us product to push on to you guys. During our live segments, we always have a contest and give it away. If you like really great tasting hot sauce. Quality go, hot sauce. Tasty, I mean hot, but they have, you know, medium and mild stuff too. Yes. And but their hot stuff is types. killer. And all their, uh, their hot sauces seem to have like a theme, like I know Florida Frank from Hate Breed has one, and I know Techno Destructo from Guar. And you have one. one, it's coming and out. I have one coming out, it's Zetro's Toxic Shock, and, and actually you've tasted it, and while it's very tasty. Hella hot, it, and it's hella really tasty. So, but, but in the meantime, before we get that out, go to hellahothotsauce.com and get some hot sauce today.